Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna take you on a tour with me just so that you know how a day in the life of a teacher looks like. So now I'm walking and I'm gonna take the bus. It's like uh, I live five minutes away from the school, but not walking distance. So yeah. are here I'm just preparing a couple of things before we start the session uh, we're gonna start today by um, just reading a little bit for like an hour half an hour in the library and the students after that they're going to um, answer their reading response uh, what I'm doing here is that I'm cutting these uh, papers these questions as a reading response for them to answer a couple of questions after they read and um, there are reading responses for fiction and non-fiction books. So usually the kids come every Wednesday and Friday. They come at 9.30 till 12.40. Yeah, they only come twice per week and the rest of the days uh, we teach online. They're here right now, by the way. I kicked them out to take the video. And um, what else? So we're gonna start with reading in the library for like 20 minutes and then after that we will continue working on what we were doing yesterday. Yesterday we had a very interesting discussion and the kids were able to come up with a central idea for this unit. Um, maybe I'll share uh, a little bit of what they did with the, with online actually using concept board. Um, if you want to know more about how to use concept board you can um, visit the link in my description below and or you can just uh, take the link from uh, above and uh, watch a video about how to use concept board so in uh, yesterday's session i asked one of my students i was telling them all right so how do we communicate messages and how do we know that this group of people would like to receive messages in this specific way and not in another way uh, like how do we target these audience and one of my students said Oh, Miss, we, maybe we can do some data handling or and, and make a survey and get to know what people like in order to uh, know how we will communicate this message and then we can represent it in uh, different types of graphs. And I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. So this is why today we're going to build on this based on what she said yesterday and um, to see what are they going to come up with? So this is the smart board in my class. Let me turn on the lights. Okay. And we're gonna use the classroom screen. And I love this tool because you can use different things on it. As you can see, you can use the traffic light. So let's say you want to tell the students uh, you have like 10 minutes and then they can track the time. Every time you change, the, you change it, they know that time is almost up. You can use a timer. You can set the time. You can start so that they can keep track of time. You can just simply change the background. Um, you can draw on it. You can have this. I love this, by the way work symbol let's drag it and put it here so like here when oh my god these are the kids <laughs> so here you can use the work symbol it's, it has like whisper ask a neighbor work together so yeah you can use that you can also use uh, the dice I use that by the way because last time I didn't really have real dice in the class so we used these online dice so it has a lot of tools like you can use it in so many different ways So 
So we had 30 minutes to actually read and answer a couple of questions as a reading response, but guess what? I always have high expectations. <laughs> it didn't work because it took them some time to choose the right book for them, right? Because you know, a lot of students struggle to find the right book and um, most of the times they just choose it based on its cover and then they figure out two pages later that they don't want to read it and then they go and choose someone something else so this is why it took some time for them to choose the right book even though we use the strategy the finger strategy but still there are kids who uh, struggle so we did some reading for like 20 minutes 25 minutes and some of them started with the reading response the last five minutes so technically we weren't able to do it all now they have um, another class so i have 20 minutes break i'm gonna order my breakfast because i didn't prepare a breakfast today and i'm super hungry i exactly have 10 minutes before the class starts and i just received my breakfast trying to be healthy since i've been figuring out for like a whole month now mm. good smoked turkey so in this session they're going to uh, fill in the mind map and they're going to share with me what they know so far like how our message is communicated what are the different ways we can communicate a message after that i'm just gonna i really replanned this session because of one of my students as i said previously she mentioned something about let's uh do a survey to know uh, how people express themselves and what is the perfect way for them to receive a message and then we can plan something and send them a message in this way so we're gonna see how this is related to data handling and after they do that they're going to i just gave them an empty paper so that they can start planning for the survey and deciding how are they going to do it which graphs are they going to use so just like brainstorming their ideas and i'm going to provide them with guided questions to know what is expected from them and uh hmm. so the kids just left now and you can tell from the silence we had an interesting day today, we did a couple of things. So we started our day by these morning routine cards that I got from Hello the Fifth. Uh, these are interesting uh, morning routine cards that you can just, oops, you can just uh, stick to the wall every morning when they come and you just can ask them to uh, greet their neighbors and start discussing today's question. Of course, no handshaking because Coronavirus. And um, yeah, these are the other morning routine cards. Every time I put uh, one or two, depend on the really on the topic. And this is, I think, a great way to start the day, just for them to connect and uh, like talk with each other before they start anything else. This is the first time actually I walk around and take a video and show you things and I suck at that. I don't know how they do that, but I'm gonna try my best to, you know, like be a good photographer and uh, show you things. So what we did today is that um, we built a little bit on things we have been working on. So last time uh, they watched a video as a provocation for our new unit. I just realized that the camera is here and not here. So they watched the video and then they filled this uh, thinking routine, see, wonder, connect. The questions were, what do you notice? Make many observations. And then they wrote their uh, wonders. What questions do you have? What do you wonder about? And then the third one was, how could this connect to the stations? because they had a lot of stations that they were rotating around and how could this connect to your personal interests? So this was the first station. They watched a video about a child who tells a story uh, through dancing and our theme is about how to express ourselves. So this was one of the provocations. And then they did um, another thinking routine, which is, I love thinking routine, by the way. 
and it's looking 10 times 2. They had to watch, sorry, to observe a lot of uh, pictures, drawings, and they have hidden messages. So the whole purpose of it is to um, observe the pictures and try to find what's the message behind the picture without having to read anything or without even having any words written. So, uh, and then they completed this thinking routine, which is look at the pictures quietly for at least 30 seconds and list 10 words or phrases about any aspect of these pictures. And then they repeat step one and two. So they end up having 20 to 30 words slash phrases. And then they had a different station where they had to observe different uh, messages created by different brands. Uh, and then they actually had a couple of questions to answer. Later on, we just gathered gathered all these stations together and tried to come up with a central idea and make connections between all of these stations. And actually, they did a fantastic job yesterday. Oh my god. We used the concept board, but I printed it out. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, actually. And they... Um, we just played a small game where they had to uh, answer a couple of questions that will help them uh, unpack the central idea and we just categorized their answers into phrases, words, general idea, close more to the central idea and this is where they actually came up with it and uh, it was really great. So I, as I said earlier, one of the students suggested something so i'm gonna show you what they did today um let me flip my camera first so they wanted to make connections between data handling and messages and they wanted to uh, spread so this was their goal here to send different messages to different audience uh in the school and in order to get to know their audience better in the school they wanted to do uh, data handling and collect data about the audience in the school which are teachers and kids so they're trying to narrow down their questions and try to see how are they going to collect data so that was really interesting but we didn't really have a lot of time to finish that so they're gonna continue working on it next time so that was uh, just snippets of my day as a teacher here in school. To be very honest, I wanted to, uh, that wasn't really the plan. The plan was to show you a day from A to Z, a uh, day in the life of a teacher, literally from the moment I wake up, but um, you don't want to see that, trust me. I woke up like a crazy monster today, so I was like, nah. Let's keep it for another day. So probably we'll do that, but I'm just not there yet. So um, what I'm gonna try to do now is, I actually had an idea because we do a lot of reflections. So I thought that maybe since I got these meeting morning meetings cards, I thought of creating uh, reflection cards. So I'm gonna create the reflection cards now. I'm gonna try to take a video of me while doing that. I hope it succeeds. And um, yeah, so that they can have the reflection cards here in class. We already use solo taxonomy for that. Whenever we wanna reflect on a concept or something that we did in class, we just refer back to the wall of um, solo taxonomy. I'm gonna show it to you in a bit. But I also wanted to have like reflection mini cards where we can gather around and have some reflections the same way teachers do and uh, usually in their staff meetings. And um, yeah, so let's do this. Oh, let me show you first the solo taxonomy. <laughs> these are the solo taxonomy i posted them before on my instagram account if you are not following me on instagram make sure you do so uh there are different levels of solo taxonomy oh, yep that's it so we start from the pre-structural so here the kids will choose uh, this if they feel that there's ideas they're not sure about regarding any concept so this is why i kept it general and we can just um, use it for any concept we're doing 
and it is really helpful because it is like an exit ticket you can do it as an exit ticket at the end of the session or the beginning of the session and you can really assess and see where the kids are and they can also assess themselves and this is very important so at the end of the session i would go like all right so let's look at this wall and let's try to think where do you think you guys are now and it teaches students to really reflect on their learning and try to understand and ask themselves uh, the questions such as where am i uh, what is something missing uh, and whenever they choose a certain level I ask them why, can you give me an, uh, an evidence or can you provide examples so that they can actually build this um, mindset of uh, always looking back at what we do and thinking of our strengths and how we can improve. So I just finished creating my reflection cards. I'm not gonna share them with you now because um, I was thinking maybe I should create a whole YouTube video about reflections. Uh, what are they and when do we reflect and uh, how can we create these reflection cards? And um, I used Canva to do that. I gotta love this website. I love this tool so much. It's very helpful and um, yeah so stay tuned for my uh coming video so that was a wrap up for today i hope you guys enjoyed my video and if you did don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and share my video with others